Hello everybody, today we are going to be talking about circumference and also the arc length of a circle. So um, to begin, let's talk about what a circumference is and then we'll get into some example problems as well. So the circumference of a circle is the distance around the circle. And you can see a picture of that right here. I'll move it so it's a little bit closer so you can see a picture of that here. Okay, um, and in this picture, here is a circle and designating the circumference is the uppercase letter C. So the letter they use to represent circumference is the letter C. So C stands for circumference. Um, we had previously learned that the R stands for radius and the D stands for diameter. Now remember that the radius and the diameter are um, parts of a circle that go through the center. So this black dot right here is the center of the circle. Okay, so um, when we are looking at this circle, um, we can see that the diameter goes through the center, the radius goes through the center. We also know that the length of the radius goes from the center to the outside of a circle, and the diameter goes the whole way across a circle through the center. The radius length is half the length of the diameter. The diameter's length is twice the length of the radius. These are all things that we have talked about in previous lessons. Okay. Now there is a formula to come up to come up with what the circumference of a circle is. The formula of a circle, I mean, a formula for the circumference of a circle is c equals pi times d. So the D standing for diameter, remember pi represents the um, approximate value of 3.14. Um, there, on your calculator, you should have a pi button that you use. Um, please do not just type 3.14 into your calculator. Use the pi button on the calculator. Um, another way that the circumference of a circle can be written is it can be written as... <clears throat> 2 pi r. So the reason why it can be written as 2 pi r is because we know that the diameter is twice the radius. So basically what they have done with pi times 2 times r is they just rearrange the order of those factors to give them this um, setup of circumference. So both of these are representations of the circumference of a circle formula. Okay, so now we're going to do um, <clears throat> an example here. Um, in number one, it says find the circumference of a circle with a diameter of five inches. So if they give you the diameter, um, you're going to want to refer to this formula here. So we're going to do c equals pi times d. Okay, if you needed the radius, well, you could just take the diameter and cut it in half. Okay, um, so since we know the diameter in place of d, we are going to put, we are going to put a 5. Okay, so our answer is the circumference is 5 pi or it's approximately, and this is where you're going to need your calculator, and you'll need scientific calculator, it's going to be 5 times pi. 
press equals, and I get 15.707. So I'll go to two decimal places there and write 15.71. And it says that it's inches, so I'll put inches as part of my answer. So we're going to give our answers an approximate value to two decimal places is just fine. Let's look at example two. In example two, it says find the diameter of a circle with a circumference of 17 feet. So this is going in the opposite direction. Okay, so um, for this problem, again, we are going to use c equals pi times d since we are trying to find the diameter. Now you could find the radius and at the end just double your answer to get the diameter. Either one is fine. So we um, are given the circumference. So our circumference is 17. So I'm going to plug in or substitute 17 in for the value of capital C, which represents circumference. Now all I have to do is solve for D by dividing both sides by pi we treat pi when solving sort of like a variable since it's a symbol. Symbols are often um, represented or used or um, simplified like variables. So dividing both sides by pi, I get 17 over pi. So that means that the answer is approximately, so I'm going to go to my calculator and I'm going to do 17 divided by pi and I get 5.411, so to two decimal places, that's 5.41, and it's in feet for my unit of measure. So there is my answer.